because uh, this is another one of those where um, to answer it, you just need to have the uh, formula memorized. So, so what the question is asking for is, what is the length of a pendulum that has a period, okay, so I'm given the period, period of 0 0.53 seconds. All right, um, how does period have anything to do with the length? And this is where, again, you have to kind of just uh, know the formula. <laughs> and the formula is angular frequency of a simple pendulum, meaning a pendulum formed by a pointness at the end of some length. That angular frequency is given by square root of gravitational acceleration divided by length of the um, length of the pendulum. So, and uh, the derivation for this is, um, it's, um, I, I do strongly encourage you to take a look at the derivation because it's uh, something that demonstrates the value of approximation in physics because um, when they first derive the equation of motion for pendulum using the rotation, uh, torque and whatnot, you get an equation that, a uh, differential equation that looks fairly complicated. It's not solvable. Um, I don't think there's actually any analytical solution to that. But, um, and you know, a lot of you taking this class, you haven't taken differential equations class. You might have seen some simple differential equations. So, so when you look at the derivation of this formula, what you will see is where um, you use a small angle approximation to linearize the differential equation to get a form of equation that looks so familiar from what you saw with a simple harmonic oscillator with the mass on a spring. So you identify some of the coefficients you see there with the omega that you saw before, that's where you get this. And so that derivation, it's, you know, it's useful, it's good to understand. Um, now, when it comes to doing homework questions, what matters much more is that you have this formula memorized. So, um, have the formula memorized. So once you do, then I guess I need to go through the same kind of consideration as what I did before. That, you know, angular frequency is two pi times frequency and period is one over frequency. So when you go through all this, period is related to angular frequency by two pi divided by angular frequency. So, um, so I'm given the period and, oh yeah, so this is where I have to use this formula. I have a period in terms of angular frequency. So let me write this out. Uh, two pi divided by omega. So let me multiply by reciprocal of that. Two pi times the square root of length of the pendulum divided by G. And even though the question doesn't say it, I'm gonna assume that G, we must be on earth. G is 9.8 meter per second squared. So uh, all I have to do is solve this for uh, the length of the pendulum L. So let me do that. Solving it for length of the pendulum L, you get, I'm doing this in my head, I'm squaring both sides and I'm moving the coefficients over. When you do that, you get G times P squared over four pi squared. So hopefully you got that too. So let me, Plug in the numbers, uh, G 9.8 times the period 0 0.53 squared um, divided by parenthesis four times pi squared. And then parenthesis closed. I think that's it. Let me do equal sign. No, it doesn't. Tell me, but okay, uh, 9.8 times 0 0.53 squared divided by four pi squared. All right, so the length should be 0 0.0697 meters or, yeah, uh, let me just put in that. Zero, so 0 0.0697, 0 0.0697. 